Hello everybody, it's the B2, and we're going to tackle probably the biggest hurdle that you'll face in Applied Energistics 2, and that is co-processing units, crafting units, crafting monitors, um, molecular assemblers, like a bunch of crazy stuff, and this is where you really start to see how powerful Applied Energistics 2 is. So we're going to kind of breeze through a setup. I'm going to try to take it slow enough um, and show you guys kind of the ropes. And, and I'm going to make it seem extremely easy because I'm going to be using the creative mode. Now trust me, there's there are a lot of uh, materials required to build something this large. Uh, you can find them all in any eye, so I'm not going to list them out and have you guys writing stuff on a pencil and paper. Uh, it's 2015. Every custom pack or, or uh, downloadable pack has any eye in it now. Uh, first thing you'll notice is that I did put in a bunch of these Emmy controllers. Um, it's not needed. I just like to have everything kind of uh, uniform and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that so again the biggest size you can make is a seven by seven by seven so this is the absolute largest cube if I put one here it's gonna shut it off if I put one here it's gonna shut it off but I can add to the middle here so if I wanted to continue to go up and bridge them you do all kinds of stuff not needed right now for this example just wanted to review that with you guys real quick so the next item I'm gonna need is a uh, co-processing. So let's go to Applied Energistics. Um, nope, we're right there. Sorry. Um, we're going to get a uh, a co-processing unit. We're going to grab a crafting storage. And we're going to need molecular assemblers. Let's just key. I'm going to grab a few pieces of stuff that I need here. And uh, you guys will see it's pretty, pretty simple here. Um, let's look here. Actually, let's go this way. Uh, interface is what we're going to need, an interface. And there's two different types of interfaces in here. It's very, very much personal preference. There's the block interface, and then there's the uh, flat interface that connects. So uh, we're also going to need some smart cabling. Uh, I'm going to go with this color and this color. We're also going to need some pattern terminals and again some of this will be preference and I'll show you what I mean as we get later on into it um, we're gonna go with um, crafting storage let's kind of break this up we'll put one there put one there and see how they're turning on they went from off to on um, you'll know you're doing it wrong when you connect something and it doesn't and I'll show you that in a second here um, now we're gonna come across here and the monitor now right so uh, we actually didn't get the crafting monitor. Let's go ahead and get that right here. There we go. And uh, we'll hook this on. Uh, you don't need the crafting monitors to connect the block, uh, but I'll show you what they do later on. Um, it's uh, it's pretty cool. So you'll notice that these are actually functioning blocks now, uh, and they're on. If I was to go add a block here, boop, nope. So you get what I mean, right? You can go one by three. Um, if I wanted to add this and make a block there, it turns back on. See how that goes. Uh, I can't add one there. Can't add one there. Um, can't add two and then expect it to work. It won't work without the third. Any combination works. You know, if I wanted to add um, some more crafting storage, I can come in here and add that. If I wanted to break that one off and add another processor there, I can do that. So you see how it starts to work. And actually, this one's... Yeah, that one's on because that's the crafting monitor. Looked like it was off. So there you go. So you guys get how that works with the co-processing units. Um, you know, the storage is going to allow you to store more, obviously, to craft. 64 is probably the biggest you'll need unless you're really doing some heavy-duty stuff. Um, and the co-processing unit, um, you just need one to get in there to get it started, and the monitor is, is kind of an extra. Now, I'll show you what I mean by the fact that uh, you don't need some huge production on here and make a 9 by 9 brick of these processors. First of all, the mats to make that would be extremely cost prohibitive. Uh, you'd be making those alone for a long, 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 long time. Um, so now what I want to do, and this is kind of where you start to really be able to play with things a little bit here. Um, I'm going to make, I'm going to make, let me see here. Let's just make them all the way across. So I just want to show you guys what, what it would look like and, uh, and give you a couple of examples. So bank, we're going to go there. Uh, now we're going to connect these guys called the ME interfaces. 
and uh, and these are kind of fun. So if you actually action into here, you can see how there's some room for some patterns, uh, a blank pattern or a pattern, sorry. And each molecular assembler can do one one product. But if you add the interfaces to the back, now you can put in multiple patterns. And see, so it's always better for me to put these interfaces on. Uh, and like I said, you can actually put the block interface, and I'll show you what that looks like, just so we have an idea. Uh, let's go here. We won't need that anymore. Um, if we break this off, we can put that on there. And it's the same thing, but it just takes up more room. Right? So I like to go with the little flat guy here. Boop, we'll put him on. Now I'm going to connect them in. So um, one thing you could do is these guys act like terminals. Look at this. You don't even need to connect this cable to here. It's connecting it through the blocks, and it's running, and it's using the cables. Three of eight channels. Through two of eight channels, two of eight channels. So you, you see, you can't now. You can come back through here and hook it up that way, and everything pulls through it. But it's just not needed, right? It's all functioning. So we'll leave that hooked up. Now underneath, we got to find a way to run this thing, right? We need to cable it in. Now I happen to like the blue pattern terminal. So let's run a blue pattern terminal out here and hook it up. Boop. And it's live, right? So we can. Is that too far? That's too far. Get out of there. Get out of there. Now it's live. We can see all the stuff that is in the ME system. So let's see. If we sort by number of items, you'll notice that cobblestone is 12,001. So let's fly over to the other side and look at this ME system over here. What does this one say? Cobblestone 12,201. So any way you hook a terminal up through here, you can actually get a rundown. All right, so the next step, the, now trust me, this is going to take you a while to get to this step. You can go back in and fill in the blocks. You can put in more molecular assemblers. You can do a lot of stuff that you need. Um, what I usually do is make a face on it and have these blocks at, on a face so that it just kind of looks tight. And, I, and I'll show you what that means once we get towards the end. Um, so now you go into the pattern terminal. You're going to say, I need to teach this how to, let's get rid of all these items first now that we're, We've got the basics built, right? So what we have is three ways to process. One, two, three. If you hook them up, it only becomes one. Like if I was to make this a big giant block here, it would become one big processing unit. And you could only run, run one job at a time. But because we have three separate units coming out of the controllers, you can actually run three different jobs. Now, what does that mean, B2? What in the world does three different jobs mean? Let's learn that. Do I have any blank patterns in here? I don't. So let's go find me some blank patterns. And we'll uh, we'll get started here. There we go. All right, so we need to now teach this system how to make the different components. So let's do compressed cobblestone. Why not, right? So let's throw the blank patterns into here. This is the part where people start to break down and they don't follow. And, and, and we end up... Uh, and if you find yourself in that, in that situation... Go to the comments section, leave me a comment, I will answer every single question that I get. Um, learning Applied Energistics made this so much more fun for me. I uh, taught the system how to do drives and I'll show you how to do this. Let's do this first. If I get nine cobblestone, that gives me a compressed cobblestone, right? So how about we write this to a blank pattern and teach the system how to make one compressed cobblestone. Boom, exactly what we just did. And you slide it in your inventory. Now, if you're looking in your inventory and you have 10 or 12 of these, it's kind of hard to mouse over them all. You can hit the shift key. See how it turns into a brick? So that way you can kind of see through your inventory a little bit quicker. Now, okay. That's cool, B2. Let's get rid of this. How do I tell the system to make it now? Well, you go to the back of one of these guys. And you drop it in the patterns. Right like that. Now, if I go into here and tell the system... You got to go into craftable items. If I click on, I don't know where double compressed came from already. We must have had an old one in there. Um, if we tell it on compressed cobblestone, we tell it nine, and then we hit next, it's going to pop open a job and say, in order to make what you want, which is nine compressed to craft, it's going to need 81 cobblestone. Okay, well, let's hit start and see what it does. It starts making them. Look at this. And it's in there. It's actually making it in the molecular assembler. And now if you go into your system. 
of stored and I went to compressed now I've already made a few of them but see look that's the nine compressed cobblestone so let's find out let's find out where that double compressed is at where that pattern for it is it should be in one of these guys over here let's see I don't see where it went to. Anyway, um, so now let's go ahead and get the pattern for the double compressed, right? If we take these nine compressed and we do another brick, it's going to teach us double compressed. So we are going to write a pattern for this. And again, shift key shows us what it is. Let's put that one in the one next to the one we just made. And I'll show you this now. So now if I want to go in here, and I want to make, let's go to craftable, right? If I want to make double compressed cobblestone and I want nine of them, it's going to tell me that I need 71 more or 72 more compressed and I'm going to need 648 cobblestone to make this to make these nine. Let's start. And you can see it's clicking off here. There's a double going. Boom. Next to it, it's compressing here. And then when it gets to nine, it'll do a double. And then it'll make nine compressed and then make a double. And it just keeps going down and down and down. Now, if I wanted to speed this process up, I could go in and grab, let's say, a couple of accelerator cards, right? Let's just go ahead and grab a few accelerator cards. Now, if I went into here and I plug these in, did you see how fast that made that now? Now, let's see it. Let's make let's make a hundred compressed cobblestone. Ready? Look at how fast that's going now. And if you look, you can just see it blipping through there. Boom, 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 boom. So that's how you speed your system up for crafting. Look at that. Okay, so now that we have a bunch of compressed, let's make some doubles. Um, let's make nine more of these because we're gonna make a triple. And we're going to start. Now, see how slow this one is? Let's go ahead and upgrade the card there. And it's already done. So uh, we kind of missed out on that one. So if we go into the number of items stored again, oops, let's toggle back. And we do triples, no, they're doubles. Let's make the system do a triple, right? So you can see how we're not adding, we're not teaching it each step again we're just simply adding on to the system so we're going to go right beside this one and we're going to drop this pattern in there now the system knows how to make triple compressed cobblestone so if i wanted to make let's let's go into here and do this craftable triple compressed cobblestone and i wanted to make a hundred of them it's going to tell me now wow you're missing sixty thousand cobblestone in order to do this like you can't you can't make this many like that's too much so if i wanted to go in Let's see, cancel. And let's get us some cobblestone. If I wanted to just go down here and uh, and load up on cobblestone and put them in the system, and I don't know that we can get that many in this quick, but you can see how now if we go back in and try to make the same amount, it'll tell you again, let's craft triples, let's do 100 next. Well, now... I'm missing 55,000 because we put 5,000 in basically. So let's let's crank it down. Let's make let's make 10. Can we even make 10? We can. And if we hit start now, you'll see it start to make the cobblestone right here. Look, and it's making a triple right there. Now see these two are sped up, so you can just see them jamming out. As soon as this one gets ready. It jams on a double, and then a triple pops into here. Really kind of cool. So let's say you wanted to make a 64K storage drive, and you taught it how to make the, the 1K, the 4K, the 16K, and then the 64K. You could just go in, hit Make Me 164K Drive, and it would tell you what components you're missing. You go get those, put those in your system, and then craft the, the, the item you need. So now, if I wanted to make this a, a, a fancy thing to look at, um, I could go back in. Let's say, let's say we wanted to make it out of diamond blocks. We can go in here and and fill in this system and and kind of let's see, let's get this all put out into like a factory now, right? If we wanted to kind of block this in and beautify the project a little bit, 
Um, and they see a lot of people get really creative on how they do their ME systems, and, and I applaud them. Like, I, uh, I'm more of a functional guy myself. Like, I just like things to look good. But you can go diamond blocks. People be like, oh, it's pipped up, B, look at that. So anyway, and that's what it looked like. And you can go in here and you can watch everything be made craft. Now, you can make all of these molecular assemblers, too, and just go ham with it. So, anyway, that's that's how you make the pattern terminals, how you do the processing stuff, and uh, and how you actually make turn the blank patterns into a pattern. If you guys have any questions at all, I mean, this will revolutionize the way you view AE2 and how functional and how... Uh, how it, how much it makes your life easier as you're crafting some of the, the higher end stuff. So I uh, hope you had a great time. hope you've learned a lot. If you have any comments, hit me in the comment section. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.